Dsmog UK is an investigative journalism outlet uh, that looks into corporate wrongdoing and PR spin, uh, predominantly around climate and environmental issues, but often we're really looking at the political connections and the lobbying networks behind that. So a lot of the stories we cover are really social justice and political stories that kind of just happen to be about environment. The fossil fuel industry has been investing billions in trying to question the veracity of climate science. And we really just want to rebalance the scales slightly. You know, they've known about this problem for decades and haven't really shared that information with the public. What we want to do is cut through the PR spin, cut through the greenwash, and reveal who these people are and what they do. We've got a big story at the moment, uh, which is using the hashtag Shell New, which is basically explaining that the big oil company Shell has known about climate change for decades and hasn't shared this with shareholders or the public. They know that their products and the burning of their products has a really big impact on the climate, but they continue to produce and explore for fossil fuels for years. This is a really big problem with Shell because it shows, firstly, that you can't really trust them. If they've known about the impacts of their products on the climate for decades, but carried on acting this way, it shows you can't really trust what they're saying about being a socially progressive and uh, company that cares about equality and cares about fairness. But also, more than that, it also potentially opens them up to legal action. Because if they've not shared that information with their shareholders, they can be taken to court for essentially lying to the people who they're meant to be uh, acting in the interests of. Shell have had a really sophisticated advertising strategy around trying to present themselves as a green company. Now, what we now know about what they knew about the impacts of their products on climate change shows that they knew full well that actually they're not a green company. So they place newspapers in local adverts, they sponsor local events, you know, they try and present themselves as a progressive social actor to purchase a social license to operate, which they basically decided was much cheaper than actually changing their business practice. Linked to this issue around fossil fuel companies being social, socially responsible actors is the issue of the carbon bubble, which basically says that we have to leave pretty much all of the known reserves of fossil fuels in the ground if we're seriously going to tackle climate change. Uh, by continuing to, to extract and produce those fossil fuels, these companies are pushing us closer and closer towards basically climate catastrophe. One of the main issues with this carbon bubble is that we have public funds and pension funds and people's money are invested in these assets. And if they can't be got out of the ground, then that means these companies are massively overvalued, which also means that people's money, which have been invested in these things, is at serious risk. Another big story we're working on is the Trade Issues Directives, which is a piece of legislation, uh, EU legislation, that's being translated into UK law. And basically, there's real concerns that this piece of legislation has been heavily lobbied um, uh, around, and it basically cuts down on the rights of journalists or the potential for whistleblowers to come forward and reveal important information about corporations. Largely, these stories aren't portrayed in the mainstream media. But when they are, then you can generally write the story before you've even read it. They tend to mirror exactly what those newspapers or those media outlets, editorial guidelines are and always have been. So when you do see stories about environmental activism, when you do see stories about corporate wrongdoing, it largely matches the commercial interests of the outlets that they're being written about in. The best thing you can do to kind of address any of this problem is support independent media. So read Dsmog UK, sign up to our newsletter, read Real, Real Media, read other outlets like Open Democracy. Go to the Media Fund website and see all the partners that are on there. And really expand your intellectual horizons when it comes to the consumption and the production of media and news. So there's a few key events coming up. One is that BP are having their AGM in Manchester in May. Now, this is a real potential opportunity for people to remind a massive fossil fuel company based in the UK of their responsibility to the society that they operate within. Around the BP AGM, people can go and learn in, in workshops and other information sharing environments how they can potentially become uh, activist shareholders, which is where they use their, their position within the company by buying a share to influence the behaviour of that company. They can also join protests. I'm sure there'll be plenty of activism around that, remind, trying to remind BP just kind of what responsibility it has to the society that it operates within.